So, Long Legs. Just watched that one last night. That was pretty good. I don't know if anybody's watched True Detective Season 1 and kind of been yearning for that ever since it came out so many years ago, but I find my mind going towards that with this movie. If you've watched True Detective Season 1, there's some character parallels in this that I thought were really cool. The main lead character is very reminiscent of Cole, or Matthew McConaughey's character, and Agent Carter. He is very reminiscent of Woody Harrelson's character. Hi. Woody Harrelson's character. And the villain, played by the very talented Nicolas Cage, was reminiscent of Childress. And uh, yes, Nicolas Cage is in this in a very different role, whom I can only compare to, like, nightmare conservative politician's version of Mrs. Doubtfire, I guess. But yeah, overall, this one was really good. And actually, I watched another movie before this, and this was kind of a palate cleanser movie, Trap by M. Night Shyamalan. But this one was good. Probably one of the best horror films I've seen in a while. Excellent cinematography, great performances by everyone involved. But this movie is probably one of the best examples I've ever seen of thoughtful camera work in a horror film. There are some parts of this where you will have the camera lingering in a certain way that makes you anxious. There's some scenes where the camera is sort of at a distance from the main character while they're talking and there's a door frame in the shot. Horror movie trope, if you got a door frame, it's open and things are out of focus behind them, you're always gonna think something's gonna pop in from behind or whatever, right? It, it lingers there and it just is comfortable with making you sort of feel this existential dread. But that kind of thing is really what shines in this movie the most. But yeah, if you're a fan of True Detective Season 1, Silence of the Lambs, Seven, Zodiac, Fincher films in general, I wouldn't give it a five star rating or anything, but it's like I said, one of the best ones I've seen in a while. I'd definitely give this one at least a four star. Check it out.